Hi, I'm George from Delta Hydrofoil and I'm here to talk about adjusting your stabilizer angle, what it does and why you need to keep it tuned. Uh, I'm here with the latest Delta prototype that we're going to be testing out in a couple of days when it stops raining and the wind starts blowing. And I want to explain to you how a hydrofoil actually works. So when you're riding a hydrofoil, the wing provides lift, it pushes up against your weight and um, the kite provides the forward force and that's rather high up because we're actually standing on the board which is above the strut. So from the wing to the bottom of the board is about three feet. From the top of the board to your harness is probably another three feet. So all the drive force, all the forward uh, force is provided by the kite and that happens six feet above where the wing is. All the drag is concentrated down low. It's the drag on the strut, the drag on the wing, drag on the stabilizer and the fuselage. So basically, what's holding the, the hydrofoil back is all down here. What's pushing it forward is all up here, and that pitches the foil down like this. So the role of the stabilizer is to actually counteract that pitching force. So the stabilizer pushes down opposite to the force of the wing. It actually creates a lever this way that prevents the foil from pitching forward. And this angle is very important in controlling the way that the hydrofoil rides. If there isn't enough downforce provided by the stabilizer, um, the foil will be very pitch sensitive and possibly entirely unstable. On the other hand, if there's too much downforce created by the stabilizer, the foil will be very draggy, slow, and sluggish. So it's important to first of all um, be able to measure what the angle of your stabilizer is with respect to the wing and be able to adjust that. Um, you also need to be able to adjust the foot strap position so that you have even pressure on your feet once you get um, the stabilizer angle adjusted to where you like it. Um, on a spots type foil, the relative angle between the front wing and the back wing is around 4 degrees. On a sword, uh, it might be around 2 to 2.5 degrees. On a delta, it could be around 2.8 to less than 1 degree depending on uh, how you have it tuned and, and what version of the foil you have. Um, if it's tuned properly, you'll have fantastic stability and the foil will be very fast and you'll be able to go 30 miles an hour downwind and 23 miles an hour upwind and all that good stuff. If it's not tuned properly, it's going to be entirely hopeless. So it's very, very important to be able to adjust your stabilizer angle and uh, we show you how to do that in our other video on how to, how to create a tool that actually measures it relative to the wing. All right. Uh, happy foiling and keep it safe. Bye.